Veterinary Internal Medicine The Prevention and Treatment of Upper Respiratory Infections in Cats Feline upper respiratory infections and urinary tract infections are two of the most common problems we hear about in cats. In this short presentation, we are going to talk about upper respiratory infections in cats only. Before we start, consider subscribing to the veterinary channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Okay, now let's talk about upper respiratory infections in cats and the best ways to prevent these from reoccurring. Every species of animal has a weak spot, and for cats, it is the respiratory system. That's why most vaccines for cats protect against viruses that attack the respiratory tract. But, unfortunately, if left untreated, these respiratory infections can turn fatal. So what are the biggest causes of upper respiratory infections in cats? Feline viral rhinotracheitis is the principal cause of respiratory infections in kittens and breeding queens. This virus attacks the eye and upper respiratory system. In pregnant cats, it can even cause abortions. Feline viral rhinotracheitis belongs to the herpes virus family. But the tricky thing about herpes is it has an incubation period so you may not know a cat is infected until it's already spread to other cats in the household. Herpes has an incubation period of 2 to 6 days and sometimes even longer. If a cat is a carrier of herpes, it can shed the virus throughout her life. When a carrier cat is stressed, which often happens when a queen gives birth, it can start shedding the virus and expose those newborn kittens to herpes. Another cause of upper respiratory infections in cats is Khaleesi virus. Eye and nasal discharge and lots of sneezing are typical indications of Khaleesi virus. The incubation period for Khaleesi virus is 5 days, but it sheds for at least 75 days after recovery. And like herpes, some cats can be carriers. Bordetella bronchiseptica is the third leading cause of feline upper respiratory infections, especially in young kittens and rescues where cats live together. Bordetella bronchiseptica is a bacterial issue, and it can be fatal. The most critical aspect in the prevention of upper respiratory infections is the use of vaccines. Some examples of the vaccines in use in the veterinary setting are The Nobivots feline BB prevents Bordetella bronchiseptica in cats While The Fellow Vax 4 Plus Kalichi Vax helps prevent herpes and Khaleesi virus. Kittens should receive at least two doses of these vaccines three to six weeks apart, while adult cats should receive these vaccines annually. Pet owners should keep newly adopted kittens or adult cats isolated from other cats at home for at least 21 days. A veterinarian should examine the new adoptee within those 21 days. Introducing a new cat into the household can be stressful for both the new adoptee and the other cats at home. In addition, stress can be detrimental to the immune system. While there is not enough research data to prove the benefits of lysine supplements, it could be a good idea to supplement the diet of all cats with these products. Now, if your cat does get an upper respiratory infection, there are some excellent treatment options. Treatment of upper respiratory infections in cats should include the use of antibiotics like, for example, doxycycline, clavamox, and azithromycin. Doxycycline is one of the most commonly used antibiotics in cats because it penetrates mucus and can treat eye issues simultaneously. Clavamox also works well as a treatment for upper respiratory infections, especially for kittens. Azithromycin is for the patient that does not seem to improve while using clavamox or doxycycline. In addition to antibiotics, saline solution nose drops given several times a day is also a great option. When giving nose drops, drip it in the nose and let the cat sneeze it back out, then wipe their nose with a soft paper towel. If you have any questions or concerns about upper respiratory infections in cats, please contact your local veterinary hospital. We hear about so many cats with respiratory infections and urinary tract infections. In this lecture, we will discuss solely upper respiratory diseases in cats. Okay, now let's discuss how to prevent upper respiratory infections in cats. Cats have a particular weakness with regard to their respiratory system. Cats' immunizations mostly protect against viruses that affect the respiratory tract. 
However, untreated, these respiratory infections can cause death. Respiratory infections are the most common illness in breeding queens and kittens. This virus targets the eye and respiratory system. When pregnant, your cat may miscarry. Feline viral rhinotracheitis is a herpes virus. However, with herpes, you may not know that a cat has the infection until it is transferred to other cats in the home. Herpes takes two to six days to show up and occasionally longer. A cat with herpes will shed the virus constantly throughout her life. When a carrier cat is agitated, it is likely to start shedding the virus and spread herpes to the newborn kittens. A respiratory illness in cats can also be caused by Khaleesi virus. Ear and nose drainage, and lots of sneezing are indicative of Khaleesi virus. This Khaleesi virus shed for at least 75 days after being recovered. Some cats can be herpes carriers. Bordetella bronchiseptica is a major contributor to feline upper respiratory infections, especially in kittens and rescue cats. Bordetella bronchiseptica is a bacterial infection and can be lethal. Vaccines are an essential element of keeping upper respiratory diseases at bay. In use in the veterinary setting, several vaccinations include Fellow Vax4 and Kalichi Vax help control both Bordetella bronchiseptica and herpes and Khaleesi virus. Appropriate vaccination intervals for kittens are two weeks apart, while annual vaccination intervals are necessary for adult cats. Never introduce adult cats or kittens to other cats for at least 21 days. New adoptions should be checked by a veterinarian within 21 days. Introducing a new cat into the household is difficult for both the new adopter and the other cats at home. Furthermore, stress might affect the immune system. There isn't enough study to verify the benefits of lysine supplements, but as a precaution, we recommend supplementing the diet of all cats. There are many therapy choices for a cat with an upper respiratory infection. For upper respiratory infections in cats, utilize, for example, doxycycline, clavamox, and azithromycin. Doxycycline is widely used in cats since it penetrates mucus and treats ocular disorders all at once. Clavamox is effective against upper respiratory infections, especially for kittens. Clavamox and doxycycline treatment will not improve the case despite treatment. Along with antibiotics, saline solution nose drops can also be a good choice. When providing nasal drops, just let the cat sneeze it back out, then wipe their nose with a soft paper towel. For further information on upper respiratory infections in cats, please contact your local veterinarian hospital.